create amazing AI videos for free. Hello, my friends, how are you doing? 2024 is going to be big in AI video, but also in video in general, for example, with spatial video that is featured by Apple and their Vision Pro headset, but also all of the other technologies out there, for example, with DV Pose for video with depth map that is developed by TikTok or with animate anyone today, we are going to look at Pixverse, but in the upcoming videos in the next days, I'm going to look at different other AI video pages. So stay tuned and subscribe to this channel. Also, I want to invite you to follow me on Twitter where I post my AI experiments, new technologies like, for example, we are and I share my findings for the best prompts you can use on Midjourney to create really stunning image results. Let's get started. On the Pixverse website, you can already see really amazing examples here in this community preview. Here are some I want to show you this one really blew my mind with the amazing animation and movement you can see here. Here is another one with this really nice background movement. I think this page is really good to start you off if you want to create a AI based movie to create these different scenes. They are short, they're only some seconds long. But often if you have a quick cut of a video, that is already good. And this is a starting point and it is for free. That is the important part about that. Here you have another animation. This page is really good at these kind of wavy flowing things. I will show you some more examples of myself in a second. Here we have another example of a character actually with mouth movement in here. In the prompt, you can say it says says goodbye. So that might be good if you put some sound to that. It's not specifically good at character animation, but as you can see here, it can create some pretty nice results. And here we have another one where a guy is moving downstairs. Look at the movement of his raincoat. That is really stunning and how he's walking into the scene. Really impressive. Next, I want to show you some examples of my own experimentation and what I would say this page is really good at. So one of the things it's very nice at is fire and smoke animation. Here we have the fireman standing in these flames and you can see this works really nice. Now, this is not a first roll. I had to try this five different times. But like I said, the page is free. You can render as many videos as you want, but the queue is limited to four. So you have to wait until the videos are rendered until you can upload more stuff. Another thing this is really good at is moving cars or movement blur. In this case, we have here this Formula One car. If you would put some sound to that, that would be even better. Another thing that can be really nice here is the rotation around an object. Here you can see we have these clouds and I have to say my mind is blown on how this makes up additional parts of the scene, but also makes the clouds and the movement, the rotation around the hot air balloon really nice and believable. This looks very good. Another thing that works amazingly well on Pixverse is these waves here, especially like really aggressively, intensively moving waves. The water looks amazing. Uh, overall feeling is just really nice. And one more thing, the rotation of a scene. I feel like if there is clouds, if there's a spaceship, if there's an object, it can move around, especially if it's a technical object. This works really well and creates very nice results. It can also create blinking eyes of a character, although I found that's kind of hard to achieve, especially because there is no motion brush to inspire that. So you might need multiple roles to get that going. But if it works, you can see here the result is really beautiful. Now let's talk about how to get the process started. It's actually pretty easy. Up here you have the create button. Click on that. Then on the top left side you have the text and image choice. Click on the image choice. And here you can either upload a file or you can select from assets you have already uploaded. If you select from an asset, you get a list here and that's a little bit confusing. So what you need to do here is select the image 
and then you need to click here on are you sure to upload we're not uploading anything but this is actually applying the image so you click on that and this is then adding the image over here in the little box otherwise when you upload it you just upload it then describe the kind of movement you want to have in here and what specifically is moving down here you can play around with the strength of the motion the seed is usually random but as you see here you can also enter and seed and then just click on create down here and as i said there's a queue of four videos that you can fill up if one of them has rendered you can start the next one but as long as all four are rendering you have to wait for at least one to finish it is good to experiment here a little bit with the strength of the motion and the text and the prompt to see what works and doesn't work. Also, sometimes even with the exact same settings, but with a different seed, you get a much better result. So it's not always the fault of the prompt or the strength of the motion. One thing I find rather important for the quality of the video is the quality of the input image. Now, you also have your text to image generation, so you can use that. As you can see here, you have the prompt, negative prompt. You have different styles you can choose from. You have different aspect ratios you can apply to. But personally, if you have the funds, I would suggest to use mid journey and mid journey has come back in a big way especially with the alpha test of their web version which is really really good now you can only access the alpha version if you have already at least created 5000 images so if you are completely new to mid journey you still have to rely on the discord version but even there it works really well and as you can see here from my creations i have created all of the images Images for this video in mid journey because it is just very good high quality can create any kind of style with very nice precision in there so this is actually a very very good tool especially if you don't want to play around with a ton of different settings and a ton of different models this is an easy way to use AI and get really stunning results like for example this image here if you want to go for a subscription of mid journey i absolutely suggest to you you get the standard plan do not go for the basic plan because as you can see it does not have unlimited relaxed gpu time which means if the three hours run out you're done for the month while with the standard plan you have 15 hours which often is even enough for one month but even if it's not enough you just switch to the relax mode and then you can create as many images as you want let me know how you're using image ai thanks for watching leave a like if you enjoyed this video and see you soon bye oh you're still here so uh this is the end screen there's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool and yeah i hope i see you soon uh leave a like if you haven't yet and well um yeah